All right, more amazing stories as told by Bob Mulroney, born in 1932 in the town of, where were you born? Bloomington. Where were you born? In Bloomington, Wisconsin. Bloomington, Wisconsin. So, uh, 700, 600 people. Interesting. So I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about, like, how did you get food on the table? The, uh, Depression, there's yeah, not a lot. Yeah, during that period of time, really most of the food, we, we would buy something at, at the store, but the majority of, of the food was canned. And, you know, it could be apples, it could be uh, tomatoes and stuff like that. And we had a, a, a big room down the basement that uh, all the candy was was stored, and and uh, when we had uh, dinner, we, we grab our mom would say, "Get down and grab you know a bottle, uh, a jar of beans, a jar of uh, tomatoes, something like that." It's amazing. So you like you kind of provided your own oh, food. Yeah. You grew it and then canned yeah, it. And you it didn't buy much because it's too expensive. Interesting. You know, you get milk and you know the dairy products and stuff like that. But uh, I didn't buy a lot of the extra things that uh, were that, that you were canned and stored. So take us back. You got seven kids. You're a little kid. Let's start the day. Breakfast. You know, you'd, you'd start with breakfast, and Grandma and Grandpa would be there, and and, uh, and a typical yeah. breakfast. What would you eat uh, for breakfast? Uh, the, uh, we used to have, to have eggs very often. It'd be scrambled, you know, easy, easy to make, and uh, toast. And yeah, we had a lot, fair amount of bread. We, my mom baked her own bread. Mm -hmm. We had uh, uh, and oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Always a big part. That was kind of breakfast. And everybody sat down at the same time. I'm assuming. Yeah. Everybody gathers. Was there a particular hour that was set for breakfast? Well, it, it was, seemed to me it was fairly early, like 7, 7.30. Mm -hmm. You know, because we went to school and and uh, so on. And Grandma and Grandpa ate with us. Okay, so you just finished breakfast. Now you walk over to school. It's a town of 600. I'm assuming we're not taking the subway. We're walking. Oh, yeah, walk we're over to the... School was just two blocks away. Okay. Then uh, lunchtime, you're coming home. Yep. Nice time to come home and have a sandwich or you know something like that. Uh, uh, yeah. Now, summer time, you would probably have you would probably be able to eat like apples and stuff. Am I right about that? Summertime, there's yeah, but you, you, they weren't you, plentiful, so you didn't you, you, you didn't just right, assume you, you just harvest you get one, you know. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. And uh, sandwich. What kind? Of, what kind of sandwich? Give me an idea. What? what oh. We're not eating canned tuna. What kind of sandwich would would you have? Uh, tuna fish. Oh, you would have tuna fish. Yeah, we'd have tuna fish, eggs, uh -huh. uh, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then you're back to school. Now it's dinner time. And, and you get you out of school about three thirty, and then we would go play, and, and or do stuff. Uh, the uh, we, we used to do a fair amount of work. I'd help Grandpa in the garden, digging things up and stuff like that. In, in the garden, because as you're pointing out, you grew your own food. The garden wasn't just a clever hobby. Oh, the okay. garden was a, a, a it really was, mattered. Oh, yeah. We had two huge gardens. And that was for potatoes, tomatoes, you know, things like that, that, that lettuce. And uh, uh, it was a, a, a big share of our food. Interesting. Yeah. Now, did you ever, do you remember, it would seem to me, if you're trying to make it through the whole winter with canned food, and for that matter, spring, did you run out of jars? Well, did you yeah, remember yeah. that? Yeah, you yeah, know, the, uh, I don't think we ever ran, ran out of uh -huh. jars. We had enough, and we had one room that was, you know, with shelves and so on, that was, uh, when uh, we would can stuff, we would put it in there. And that was our, our storeroom. And that was in the basement, so it would stay kind of cool. 
Right that was in the basement, so it would stay kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, Am I yeah, assuming yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Now, what is it that kept that stuff from going bad? How did how did you ensure that it didn't rot? Oh, well, canned it. You canned it, yeah. and and the canning process, because I um, yeah, I didn't know, and most people don't know what that means. You heat it up, you yeah, boil it. Yeah, and, and you have to. It's got to be the uh, uh, you, you, the uh, heated temperature. Where you're cooking it, uh -huh. yeah, and then, then you, you have to seal it when it, it's still hot and cooked. You Interesting. Know, I don't remember all of the details. Uh, 180 degrees Fahrenheit yeah. kills all and the it bacteria. Be, um, would be you know the temperature. Yeah. The um, occasionally, I'm guessing you opened a, a jar full of um, food that might have gone bad. Yeah. That, and, and that, that it was not just, very often, but in many cases. Interesting. Yeah. And um, then I think you indicated the other thing you had was was mac and cheese kind of thing. Pasta was common. Cheese, and that, yeah, that was cheap and a big, um, significant go quite far. The other thing I think you, I, I think I remember you saying at some point was something about people. It's a farming kind of community. Do, am I correct that there was something on the order of people like sharing things like a chicken? Oh, yeah. Where, yeah. What is that? They, 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 uh, uh, we used to share things with Hermsons and they, they had a lot of applesauce. They had trees and so on. And, uh, oh, that's really and cool. We, so community. We, we would maybe give them potatoes or something, like, you know. And uh, so there was sharing. Yeah. Yeah, and then every now and then if we're having something very nice, we would send a jar over to a neighbor. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you're sharing, was this done, uh, I, I'm guessing this was much more community than barter. It wasn't like I'll give you three jars of this for five jars of that. It was just like you did what you could you for did, one another. Yeah, yeah. you just did you, it under your kindness and yeah, and they sent the stuff to us as well. Yeah. So, but that was kind of, it gave us a little something different. Now, you mentioned there was one time when you spilled the milk. And this wasn't a glass of milk. You went, you had like a whole bucket full of milk. Tell me about that. No, it was glass, I think. So, or, so no, you, no, the, the, the bucket. So you literally had a bucket full of milk. We used to go, go to Herbson's. Uh-huh. And, and get and this a this is a big family next door to you. Well, the no, they're about two, two or three doors. They had a farm. Okay. And uh, uh, so they, it was about yeah, maybe a quarter of a mile away. Okay, a little bit of a height. Yeah, and uh, uh, we would get milk every day. You know, uh, Interesting. Every, you know, when these... Oh, like an old-fashioned milk... Um, I've seen these. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was a gallon or... A jug type of thing. Okay. Can like. All right. Yeah. And you would get that up. one time. Yeah, I used to swig them. <laughs> and one time it came off. Oh and, no! And, no, but, and I was not very happy it was in the family. Um, and I can imagine you're a little kid. You're probably what five years old. No, I was probably six or seven. Okay. You're by yourself on the side of a. Uh, was the road even paved? Was it a dirt road? What do you think? Can you make? No, it was always paved. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you're in like kind of like in the yeah. middle of nowhere by yourself. Like, oh no, what did I do? Yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the uh, uh, I didn't have to worry very long about what I did. My brothers and <laughs> they all knew. Yeah. Yep. And the interesting thing is, what you're pointing out, you went and got the milk every day because you didn't have a refrigeration, right? Yeah. Well, we, we had an ice box. Okay, talk. Tell me about that, because because I I really don't know, and most people don't know about ice boxes. The uh, there was, and this was in, in every city. It's, uh, a truck would come by, and and you'd buy a chunk of ice and put that in. There was a box. Yeah, interesting. And. Uh, that would keep you, in the, you know, keep the things from going bad. Yeah, and so we had that every day. No uh, kidding. Yeah. 
And was, was it like the ice cream man? Was there a per particular sound that the ice um, that, that the truck made when they came by with ice, or did or did they have regular stops? Did they, they have regular stops? They had regular stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even when I was a kid, we had a milkman. Uh, kids today don't, don't have any idea about that, but the milkman would come by and deliver milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had certain stops he made every day and brought milk every day. Yeah, yeah. I remember the milk, the milk box had a lid like a toilet. Yeah, yeah. And when I was very young, yeah. I thought it was a nice option. <laughs> That's another story. Okay, so, um, all right, now, as things progress, uh, refrigeration is new. Talk to me about, like, like what, what do you remember being big changes in the food, like, way of eating? Um, was, was refrigeration, like, all of a sudden, like, a really big deal? Like, talk to me about, like, you know, yeah, yeah. next going, phase. Going from an icebox to a... Uh, to refrigeration was kind of a big deal. And that was probably when we were in, in Madison, I think. Okay. Yeah, by that time. I would imagine freezers would have been a big deal. Well, did, did, did freezers come at like oh, with yeah. refrigeration at the same we time? Didn't, we didn't have freezers. Okay, so refrigeration was one thing, but the freezer was not like that. Yeah. Didn't roll right in. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like you like killed the yeah, cow, yeah, packaged yeah. it up, and, yeah, and froze yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, that oh, that was much later. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Didn't yeah. know that. Grandma Graf had a freezer, you know, and we used to. And that was a big deal. If you had yeah. a freezer. That was a big deal. Yeah. 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 Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, and as far as something like now, you're in Madison. You're no longer in farm country. Um, a, a something like 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 meat that was not still like like steaks and stuff, um, hamburgers. That was like that was not an like a regular thing, right? That was oh, a big no. deal. You know, you very rarely had steak. Dad used to love steak, but maybe once every six weeks or maybe one big piece in town. Uh -huh. And hamburgers. What? What? Do you we remember when hamburgers were invented? Like, well, like I don't know anything about the hamburger. I just grew up with it. Kind of our, our staple. Hamburger. It was kind of our staple. We we had hamburger. That was very often the meat that we had. Uh huh. Interesting. I wonder when hamburgers were. You know, ground beef. I guess they've been making sausages for a million years. Didn't have to be quality beef. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Right. And we all enjoyed hamburgers and stuff like that. And fast food, like when did that hit the world? The, the uh, you, know, you could buy ice cream cones and and things. go to like the malt shop, huh? Yeah, yeah. And French fries. It, was it wasn't to be stored. Uh -huh. It was, you know, you you ate it on the way home or. Now, was that like the 40s, the 50s? Or like, like, was that always around? Do you just remember that? Like In the 30s, 40s. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Then and then came the microwave. Do you remember when the microwave came out? Yeah. You're like, that's crazy. <laughs> funny <laughs> stuff. Microwaves. Well, I really, you yeah, know. Much easier for the mothers. Yeah, funny, huh? Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks for bringing us back to, you know, days that... You know, I mean, you like, you might think it's silly, but you, uh, but, but like most people my age or younger don't know about these yeah, things. Yeah. So it's really interesting. Yeah. So I really appreciate you sharing. You weren't exposed to. Thanks, Dad. Okay.